what you are seeing here on my phone is my book fusion library, my bookshelf. Uh, and these books are the same that I have here on Calibre. Uh, this one is here, but there is also this other one here, Breaking the Chains of Gravity. Uh, there is this one here, uh, Atomic Awakening, and so on. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> to do that, we are following these instructions here. You'll find a link to this page in the description below. By the way, you'll also find a link to a, an ads free version of this video for Patreon supporters. If you want to learn how to support my work and have access to a lot of exclusive content, go to patreon.com slash Vlad Campos. Okay, let's do this. With Caliber open, go to the Preferences menu. And from here, scroll all the way down. We need to go to the Plugins, Get New Plugin. And let's type here Book Fusion. Here it is. Install. Yes. Okay, let's add it to the main toolbar. And restart Caliber. And now, if we take a look at the toolbar, the Book Fusion plugin is there, the icon is there. But let's use the more traditional route here. Let's go back to Preferences, because if you don't choose to add the, the icon to the toolbar, you won't see it there. So we can go to Plugins again, and if we click here, Show Only User Installed Plugins, this list is going to shrink, it's going to collapse to the ones we have uh, installed, and here it is. You can either double click here, or use this button here, Customize Plugin. This is what we have to change now. We have to add this API key here to connect Caliber to our uh, Book Fusion account. So let's go to the Book Fusion uh, website and I'll show you where you can find that. From here, we'll click on our avatar, then Settings, and finally, Integrations. And by the way, if you don't know how to use Book Fusion, I invite you to watch this other video. Okay, let's keep going. Now there is this option here, Caliber. We'll click on Settings. This is the key we're looking for. In your case, you probably have this blank and you have to create a key. So I'm going to simulate that uh, pressing here on the Reset API key. I have something already here because I've done this before, before recording the video. And by the way, be careful with this Reset API key. If you set everything up and then you click here Reset, you'll be resetting the key and you'll have to go through all the settings again, at least the key part. Okay, let's copy this key and minimize this window. Go back to Caliber, paste the key here, and okay, that's it. Apply, close. I have this feeling that it is always good to restart an app when you install something new, so I'll do that just in case. Now, what I'm going to do here is expand this window a little bit so we can see all the plugins, because there, is, there are two options here. We have Sync Selected Books or Sync All Books. I'm going to go with this one here because it's a little faster and we are going to choose this one here. This is such a good book. Uh, sync Selected Books. You get this warning here. And by the way, I own that book. I purchased that book. And here we go. Click here. Start. So now we can close this and go back to uh, Book Fusion Bookshelf. And here it is. <laughs> That's so cool. Read. And if you have already watched the other video, you'll know that from here you can do something like this. Uh, select and highlight any part of the video. This is the web. Uh, reader. Don't go just yet because there are two other details that you have to know. First, this synchronization is happening across devices where you have the Book Fusion app installed. So let's say you have two phones or a phone on a tablet, 
the, everything that you do, the highlights and everything will synchronize, the book position will synchronize, uh, the, even using the, the web uh, viewer, everything will synchronize. However, if we go all the way to the bottom here of the page, right now the sync is one way, which means it will only push your updates from Calibre to into Book Fusion, not the other way around. But that may change in the future. That said, I had an idea. What if I install the Book Fusion Android app here on my Super Note? And instead of using the Super Note Reader, maybe start using the Book Fusion Reader because not only I'll have everything synchronized, all the, the highlights and notes and everything, but all that will be sent to Obsidian. <laughs> so I'll have everything <laughs> the full circle. <laughs> but that's a topic for another video. I have to do a lot of tests. For now, if you haven't yet, you can watch this other video about how to use uh, Book Fusion and how to synchronize your bookmarks and highlights with Obsidian. If this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you so much for your time.